Iliari is the newest Overwatch hero, rounding up the support roster at 10, and I'm super excited to talk about her because I think that she has on paper a very simple design that is easy to understand, unlike the previous support Blizzard released. And because of that, I feel she'll be able to find her place in the meta faster. She has a gun that can do damage and heal, a healing turret, a movement ability, and an ultimate that throws a big fireball at the enemies that apply some effects. With this basic kit in mind, let's dive into it a bit. Her damage has a charge mechanic, it's hit scan and can headshot enemies. Her secondary fire has a resource meter and heals with a beam. She has a single target healing turret on one of her abilities and an AoE knockback on the secondary ability. Shout out to the February 16, 2022 experimental card when Sim had healing turrets and break with 360 whipshot people doing her ultimate. And speaking of ultimates, her ultimate is a huge projectile you throw at enemies that slows them, marks them and deals only a little bit of damage unless the marked target targets take a big chunk of damage for it to be activated and detonate. I'll give a rundown of each ability, comparing them to similar ones from other heroes kits and what I think about them. Her weapon is called Solar Rifle, her primary fire, long range auto charging rifle, like Sojourn's railgun doing her ultimate. You can wait for it to charge and shoot for maximum damage possible available. Unlike Sojourn's railgun though, that you can charge faster by shooting at the enemies, Iliari's gun charges only with the help of time. The charge time can be interrupted by meleeing or by healing with your secondary fire, so make sure to remember that. Of course you can shoot it faster, but it won't do as much damage as fully charged. There's a small rhythm to it, so you need to have some practice before being comfortable with it. I think that mechanically speaking, this is what got me hyped the most from her kit. Aim intensive hero, that is hit scan. She can carry fights and get early picks like a sniper would by two tapping you from a decent range, but this doesn't mean that if you go for body shots, you won't get value out of her. Her secondary fire, medium range healing beam that consumes solar energy. Similar to Zarya's primary fire aim wise and Moira's healing spray resource wise. It's a laser with a pretty short range, a big burst of healing and no way of managing its resource other than, you guessed it, time. If you mismanage it, you have to wait for it a bit to be available again. It does a lot of healing in a short period of time, but I don't think that will be that problematic, because you technically cannot pocket someone for more than a couple of seconds with it, because you'll run out of juice fast and you also have to be pretty close to them. It's going to be interesting to see how optimal usage of this will look like in the next couple of months, because it's a weaker version of Xenialis Transcendence. 120 HP per second versus 300 HP per second on a right click. No! God, please, no! Before we start panicking, Remember, short duration, single target, resource management heavy requires aiming close to medium range and stops her primary fire from charging and I can still go on and on and on. Outburst, left shift. Launches you in the direction that you're moving, knocking back enemies. Hold jump to go higher. Decent repositioning ability that can also peel pretty well against divers. View it as a weaker 360 Lucio Hoop. It's a bit tricky to use initially, and there are some texts that I'll be explaining in future content, but I don't find it that oppressive or weak. I feel like it's a pretty balanced ability in its current state, and you can use it in most multiple ways. You can set up cheeky boops, get on high ground, bait enemy cooldowns then disengage from them, peel for your allies and so on. I love abilities that let you do more than just one thing. Healing Pylon. Deploy a pylon that heals allies. We have been asking for gears for something like a healing target or totem in the game and they finally listen. We got a pylon. Let's see how it works. It does single target healing, prioritizing what it seems to be the lowest percentage health ally in range. Has both health and shield HP, so in case it gets poked out, it can regenerate shield health back. And it can be placed on the floor, the ceiling, on the payload, think of Junkrat mine attach mechanics. It has a pretty big range, around 16 to 17 meters right now, so pinging before you place the turret to judge the distance is my number one trick for this ability. It requires line of sight of your allies, and once placed, it stays up permanently, unless destroyed by enemies or Iliari or placed in another spot. Think of it like a Torbjorn target. The potential of the healing pylon being up during entire team fights or maybe even almost entire games seems like something's broken here. But before we call for a nerf, let's understand how it works. It's on an 8 second cooldown. If it takes damage and your cooldown is available again, you cannot place it until 3 seconds after the damage stops. If you destroy it before these 3 seconds or the enemies destroy it, then you won't have it available to be placed for the next 12 seconds. In essence, you must make sure that enemies won't spot it and attempt to break it before the fight begins and to try to place it in very hard spots for the enemies to clear during team fights. This means that passive pylon placement might be the way to go. What I want to say is that you have to put it in a safe spot where your teammates know they can get healed from. The problem is that you depend on your teammates to know where it is and to play around it, which is great and all, but it's been 4 months since Lifeweaver's release and it's still tricky to coordinate proper pedal platform usage. We must wait and see if we will adapt 
adapt to it fast and how it's going to work in real game scenarios before thinking it's too strong. Because at the end of the day, your teammates have to be aware of it to be efficient, and we know that the game sometimes feels like it's a 1 versus 9 instead of a 5 versus 5. Ultimate, Captive Sun. Fire an explosive ball of solar energy. Enemies hit, are slowed, and explode after taking significant damage. I'm so pumped up for this ultimate. You throw a big fireball at the enemies, you do two debuffs, you slow them and mark them, which can trigger an explosion that deals a lot of damage. The explosion is under a suspensive condition. It will happen if the required amount of damage is done until the timer of the mark runs out. For a more detailed explanation, it has two steps. Step 1. Before throwing it. For 4 seconds you can throw it like Sigma can during his ultimate. You cannot use your abilities until you shoot a projectile. If you shoot, then you can use your healing pylon even if you're still in the air. If you don't shoot, then the fireball will automatically be launched at the end of the ultimate. Step 2. After throwing it. Hit targets take very little damage, about 5 or 10 I think. Are slowed for a bit and they become marked for a couple of seconds. If the marked targets take significant damage until the mark disappears, then something inside them explodes and they receive a big chunk of AoE damage. A bit tricky to understand, but the TLDR is hit as many enemies as you can and either you or your teammates try to focus the affected targets and get some kills. The ultimate will be difficult to use as it can be easily denied by other heroes, like some as EMP, Diva's defense matrix, just a couple of examples. You can miss it, and even if it hits, you still need to follow up with damage for it to be efficient. For passives, she only has the support passive, which is something I'm a fan of because in case she struggles in the meta, they can always add an extra passive, like they did with Zenyatta when they added his kick a while ago. Speaking of Zen's kick, when are we getting his melee icon changed from a fist to a kick, Blizzard? Iliar is a support hero with insane offensive potential. This means that it will be easier to carry games yourself rather than enable your team to help you win games. She's more of a solo carry hero rather than a team carry like other supports are. I know I'm excited to learn to play her and I think she's going to be tons of fun. But what do you think about her? Please let me know in the comments. Would love to hear your takes. Yeah. Just not optimal sometimes. I forgot, I don't know why. <laughs> Touch them. I have to die. Dribble. Next point of all. No, neither. Really annoying. I'm joking. Ah, ah, ah. Got him. Yeah, I'm on. Very nice. Yeah, I guess I'm ultimate again. 
Yeah, I got a poke from the other side. Nice. We got the Bastion. Ah, ho. Medic. Good job. Let me get close, Thug. Oh, run one, run one. Run, run, run. Good job. Wait, this is like spawn. Oh, 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 I just realized. I had no idea that was her actual spawn. The map, no! I'm gonna someone else had that idea. I'm gonna stay here. I'm being marked by the Reinhardt, so you guys can go have fun. Quickly. Never mind, Bastion, Bastion. He's still gonna be looking at me. You guys get that content. Out of Matrix. Oh my god. Yeah, I can get out. We have another fight. Good job. Alright, to the next one. Where is it? It's uh, right. The huge beat. What it was? I thought that was the end of the game. I'm talking about it. It's okay, we're going to roll content creators Fail here. Go. Me. Yo, people go crazy here. Okay, I think I'm going to play from high ground or somewhere. Can't go up there. Where the hell? Oh, no way. The mock in a bit. Well, the wall is not here. Main here, main here. Uh, behind you, my seven. Right behind you. Yeah, I'm trying. Ooh. Okay. Nope. Oh, wait, is that an ult and I know? No! Dude, she's so fun. Like, what, I, I got right? kind of like used to how you should. Okay, how did I know? I, know? I wish I like shoot with her and god damn she's so much fun. It's like Sojin doing doing her ultimate. Okay, let's see if I can actually do a decent ultimate now. Uh oh. Oh, nice one. Thank you. Is this what you've been wanting? Ah, have a great time. Wait, what? Huge. Perfect. Let's get it. That sucks. I'm dead now. Help, 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 help. Alright, ping them, ping them, ping them, I gotta be, I gotta be able to stop all of them. Okay, here it comes. Oh my god, so close! Just stand in that exact spot and hope they run into it. Nice. Oh, well. Oh, Yay. nice! GG! <laughs> hmm, can I put it? I, I think I'm gonna keep it down. here. They have a Torbjorn? Bruh. This is really low. Okay. <laughs> Alone. No. Get out, get out, get out. How you doing up there, buddy? You, you doing good? Pretty fun. Yeah. Hold it there. Bro, this is so close in. Where's one? Guard's up. Guard low on point. Half. No! Oh, no. I can't kill this. Yeah, I can't kill this. That's very Oh, do it. Massive. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna make a game go. Go help MLS7 park content. 
exactly, dude. I don't know. If you guys start talking to me, I'm stuck. I'm, I'm hyper focused here. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Valorant mode. I'm kissing my monitor now. No, I'm gunning. Can't help him. I'm out of here. No, Edel. No! Just jump me there. He saw me inside. Doesn't matter. We go again. What? I got stuck here. Oh, I should have jumped there to get to him. Hmm. I think I'm gonna keep this over here. This place? I'm dead. Ah, they wouldn't die. Oh, I punched them all. Oh, you pushed them. Yeah. Let the kids do it and get you. No. Wait. Scorch. Scorch. C9, 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 I can't touch. Oh, oh no! Uh, I, I realized too late over there. Doesn't matter though, longer map. Can just get to me. Oh, can't get to him. Wait, this is the spawn! Ah, that explains it. <laughs> Nice one. Oh, one. Which one? Which one? Huge! Oh, nice PL. Oh, oh, oh. You're good. Hey man, that's on. I would boo boo, is it? But. Ooh, he got me. That was close. Let's not play more. Watch, watch, watch. I'm like lost. Burn, there are wolves everywhere. Yeah, it's kind of how houses are built, bro. Do you know that? Like insane. I'm back here. Like, wolves and stuff. This architecture actually must be insane. Okay. Okay. Is that Metro on it? What? I was over. Metro. Hey, grenade. We got the ad. Hey, guys. They see you now. Ah! They broke my pilot. Uh, no! I got one! I got they, they, one! If they go for you, they're not gonna touch. <laughs> they know oh, they're rusty, they're rusty, they're, they're gonna make it. No, they actually like mine. Maybe win a ball. Winston, Winston, all the rest of them are. That's enough. You can actually die. You can never guess what I'm about to do. I think it still went through. <laughs> Oh, that honor, that poor honor. <laughs> that was. I was like, ooh. Oh, no. I was made for the high screen. Yeah. Yeah, I was made for the high screen. Okay, you guys win. You win. Get away from me. You're the rest of the You know, I actually get a better spawn thanks to that. Sleep on her. I'm gonna have my ultimate again. Hopefully, I can do one good ultimate. I hope so. This is so complicated. So complicated. I think I'm going to keep this. Probably here. Gonna have EMP. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have EMP though. I 
Ah, baited. I mean, I missed the jump, but baited. <laughs> Massive! I just like randomly. I'm Olaf. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to subscribe. Meow.